everybody and welcome back to another tier list video and today we are rating all the farms tier list maker so for this farms i'm gonna do not manual but automatic farms and yeah let's see what we can do okay automatic fish farm um i don't know I think it's kind of a must have. The bedrock edition is pretty OP. You get many of this. So, I'd say must have. Bamboo farm. I'll put as decent for fuel, scaffolding. But it's kind of not that useful if you're counting all the other stuff. Pickling farm. I think it's pretty good. You get random stuff. Most stuff is good. The salt. Um, I don't know. Outclassed. Why do you need basalt besides building? Yeah. I don't think. Yeah. Outclassed. Actually, I'll just do outclassed. Beacon farm. I think it's decent. It takes some time. I haven't really um, made it yet. We have the bee farm, which doesn't really get you good stuff, so I just put as outclass because you only get wax, which is made for candles, but why do you need a lot of candles? Um, you get honey bottles, which is only good for honey, which is good for resident contraptions. Decent? Nah. Uh, brewing farm? Decent, yeah. Pretty useful, but takes some time. Um, yeah. Just don't build it. Cactus farm. Why do you need a cactus farm? Green dye. XP farm? Still. This is good. Really good because it produces itself. You don't have to do anything. So I'd say, like, not must have. You can have other food sources, but good. Chorus flower. I'd say decent because I don't know. This outclass because you know what? Who needs coarse food? It's a the, like one of the worst food sources, and it just teleports you to many places. But it's good for breaking in, but it's still outclass. Cobblestone farm. I think it's a must-have because like you're, you're gonna build it eventually because you always need cobblestone. Always for everything. Tools, builds. This can make stone. Um, it can make smooth stone, smooth stone slabs, and all the stairs. Cocoa beans. Outclass. Who needs it? For what do you need? Like cookies? That's that's not a good feature. I think it's a good. It it, it takes away me, much much fun, uh, time, and now it's just useful. This I don't know. I'm just gonna put in decent because I don't know. Like, oh, this outclass, yeah. Actually, you just don't know. This. Uh, oh wait. This I don't know. Coral. Fan. I don't know how to get those besides coral. I think they grow in coral. Maybe that's how, but I don't think. I don't. I don't think you need that. Creeper farm. I think it's decent. Like, oh, just put this back right there. And uh, everything in decent. It's not going by order. I'm just putting it like because I want to. Creeper farm is good for TNT. I guess you can sell it, but it's just good for TNT. And, oh, actually, you mu must have. TNT, one. Rockets. Everyone needs rockets in that game. Who doesn't, who doesn't want to ride with light? Because it's just so awesome. Um, but I haven't done it before. I haven't gotten that in the back. But maybe we will do it on Minecraft. Okay, we have some carrots. 
carrot. Oh, just like all the meat and stuff. Automatic. Um, I think it's like good because you can put in composters. Good, and this already out outdoes the food sources. So, tree farm. I'd say good too because you know you need wood a lot. I'm spoiler alert, but I actually made a tree business in Army Craft. That will be coming out in Army Craft episode four, I think. But that will be in Army Craft because I made a log spin business. Um, music this this decent. I guess for the collection. Trident farm, decent also. It's good for, tridents are good for farms, but why, why do you need it besides like loyalty and damage and good time? Yeah, not that good. Um, egg farm, outclass. Well, I guess decent because you'll need it one day to make this. But after that, this is just, you know, just throw it out the window or something. Enderman Farm. I'd say it's good. Good XP farm in the end. You can get Ender Pearls, which is really good for navigating. Parrot. Parrot Farm? I don't know. Parrot Farm. Decent, because I don't know. Like, who needs parrots besides looking good, but decent. Feather farm, just don't build it. Why do you need feathers besides arrows and book and curls? These are not needed, just, just, just get them from chickens, like by killing them. Fish farm, I don't think you need it. I'm gonna put an outclass because you can just fit, you get fish, but it's not the best food source. So why would you need fish? I don't know. This is good, this one's good because you can get books. But a fish farm, where there's like a spawn area, and they get pushed in, why do you need fish? Honestly. A mob farm, I don't know what this is, because there's two. I'm guessing this one's like mob farm, this one's just... How about we just don't do this one? This is gonna be replacing Um, This is uh, decent, you don't always need it, but the gunpowder is useful. If you want the variety, you can just make this one. Not as good gunpowder, but still pretty good. I got a stack from this farm before in general the survivor which is now gone but that was on boom's day go check it out if you want skeletons bone meal good i need a lot of bone meal for sugar cane so trade villagers pretty good zombies and not really good rotten flesh you can trade it with villagers but still not really good but these guys sometimes drop iron ingots so you can make a profit and I guess, what is this? Like, what is this? We'll just say this is a uh, blaze farm. Cause there's no blaze yet, I guess. Um, we'll just put it. Blaze farms, decent. You don't have to make a really good one, but you can still make it. Automatic ones are okay, I guess. Because you don't really need blazes that often. And um, they're just kind of, they're easy to get. You don't have to make a farm to get some, but it's easier if you do. Gas farm. I'll put in decent too, because gas tiers, um, they're okay. You only make them, you only can make uh, and crystals with them, so that's not useful. Creeper, uh, I mean gunpowder. You can just make a gunpowder farm, which is easier. You don't need as much obsidian for the nether portals. 
unless you're not making that design. But still, gunpowder's easier to get with the creeper pond. Um, I'm going to put this right next to the Endermen because they're both really good. Actually, this one's a little better than the Endermen farm because it gives you gold, gold swords, round flesh. And this one just gives you Ender Pearls, but they're kind of tied. Just put them together, I guess. Guardian farm, decent because I guess outclassed actually because you get XP. You can get that from almost most of these farms. Um, the Prismarine is pretty good for building, but who builds with Prismarine? Like, no, no one does it that often, but if you need it, then put it in decent. If you don't need it, outclass. But I'm never gonna really build one of these, so I'm not, I'm gonna put them in outclass. Hoglin Farm, just don't build it. Why do you need it? You have cooked chicken, Chick-fil-A, and army crap. <laughs> okay. Honey farm, just like the bee farm. Put them together. Ice farm, decent, because you got good water sources, but still, not a lot of, I, I'm gonna put them like good, because actually decent because they're good for redstone contraptions like water water things um we have um i'd say like good because squid are so annoying to find i learned that from army craft um because i had to build the the chick-fil-a roof out of black concrete also I finished it because I found a wandering trader and he traded this one emerald for this. Uh, iron Golem Farm. I'm saying myself. Like, it's so useful. I haven't built one because it's kind of annoying with villagers, but I will want, I, I will build one eventually. Kelp Farm. It's almost the best. Uh, fuel source but lava beats it but this is the easiest easier than lava farm because because um, you have to have trip stone pistons this one you just harvest it and cook it into dried kelp you get XP you can craft in dried kelp blocks now I calculated this but this actually smelts the dried kelp block each one smelts 20 items which is really, really good. Uh, magma cube farm. Why do you need it besides fire res? You can just get that from this farm. Uh, pumpkin melon, decent. You don't really need them, but I guess decent. Milk farm. Yeah, that's going at the bottom. No one needs milk. Well, you do need milk, but why do you need to make an automatic farm for that? Mushroom. Also, why do you need mushrooms? Mushroom stew? You have Chick-fil-A here. This, also, I thought they were the same thing, but okay. Nether wart, oh, um, wart. This just goes next to that, because they're a little harder to make, but I guess they're the same. Nether Wart Farm, decent. They're good for potions, and you know you don't ha must have, but I guess you put in good. Minecraft pig stuff and farm majiggies, decent. Actually. Outclass, because you have this one already. Why do you need this one? These all you have to breed, but chickens, they produce themselves. Okay, that did not make sense. Phantom farm, decent. Elytra repairing, so you don't have to get mending. Decent. Sea pickle, just don't build it. 
decoration, but still don't build it. Also that, just don't build it. Um, not must have, but good for hardcore series and other stuff. This one. We'll just put it next to here because you need this for this. For wood. I thought these are the same. But okay, I'll just put them next to each other. Snow farm. Is this powder snow or snow? Well, I'll put them together. Mmm, outclass. Why do you need powder snow besides the achievement? I guess it's good for decoration, but yeah, that's not working. Mob spawner farms. I'll just say good because they're just like really OP because you don't need to have setups, they're just really easy to make. Sugar cane, decent for villager trading, get a lot of emeralds for them from the leveling up the librarians and you can get mending and stuff. And yeah, it's pretty good, I guess. Furnace farms, super smelter, good. You'll need it in the end game because it's really annoying not to. We have one in, our our general loot army but this one i mean not the general general loot army army craft but we only have two furnaces sweet berry oh this was in outclassed i think i don't know sweet berries um they were the best early game in army craft so i'll just put them in decent because of that because we survived on this for like a long time maybe two hours or something i don't know maybe longer maybe shorter but we survived on this for a long time villager trading i don't know good or must have i think must have because you can get all your armor which is what we're gonna do in army craft or try to at least. And they're just really good for stuff. Um, oh, turtle eggs. Uh, outclass, nah. Why do you need those? Weeping vines, also outclass. Why do you need those? Villager, I think this is a uh, breeder. A uh, villager breeder. Breeder. Decent. Don't have to have it, but it's good for you. But I'm not putting them in good. We'll just say useful, I guess. Um, vine farm. We have one that is really bad, but they're just outclass. I'm not going to say just don't build it because they're definitely useful in some times, but I don't know. This one is decent. It takes, I think a, it takes a long time to build this one, but it gives you redstone, glowstone, gunpowder, really good variety. And Wither Skeleton. It's good for coal, but you have better source option so I'm gonna put this in decent wool wool farm I'm gonna say good or useful because like sometimes you need it for decoration and this one we said we didn't want to so that is it for this video and if you enjoyed leave a like button if you enjoyed slap that like button Button. And if you really enjoy all these videos, just subscribe and turn on notification notifications to get notified when new videos come out. So you can automatically watch them. I actually have a lot still. But I'll put this this in the link of the description uh, so you can make your own. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.